Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I wanted to see if this Out of Bounds trick was still here, and wow, it is. That's crazy. Um. Hold on. I. I think I'm not gonna F about with it, though, because uh, I already did the quest. There's not really much of a point, you know? Oh yeah, there's a vault uh, symbol right here, by the way, in case you didn't know. Now you know. Chronicles of Patricia Tannis' torture at the hands of Handsome Jack. I've been relocated to Sanctuary against everyone's better judgment. Not my own, mind you. I never wanted to be here. I was perfectly content to live out my days in a non-standard living arrangement with two ceiling chairs I met at a bar fight. Oh, they're adorable. They barely speak any English. And if you have to ask what ceiling a ceiling chair chairs. is, I pity the life you've wasted. But no, no, that's that's not fair. Uh, that's not fair. I got cheated. Uh, she knew I would ask. So uh, I'm not pitiable. Uh, Wait, do I have the weapon for too? I have the deadly. I forgot that was a um, did we get any iridium at all in this playthrough? Told you about this place. I'll kill him. Yeah, we have some. Enough for a backpack. Just to do this. For the bank as well. Um, we're not really using any ammo, are we? Other than this. So, I guess I'll take some launcher ammo. Because, you know, launchers on gauge is a good idea in general to have one. For uh, resins, of course. I don't have one now. You should get one because I've died a couple of times now. Whatever. Said I have two shotguns. That's fun, right? I should discuss the scroll offense in the room. The reason for my relocation was an elongated scroll and unpleasant torture at the hands of Jack's cronies. Roland and his well-defined pectoral muscles were kind enough to entrust the vault key with me after the awakening of the destroyer. Not to be confused with the warrior. Seriously, those sound nothing alike. No. Did anyone say that they did? Oh, is there going to be a cutscene? No, I've been in here. Okay. I was confused. I'm confused no oh, longer. Wait. Torture. I asked nicely on several occasions. Oh, right. Torture. Against bacteria on the instruments, but it fell upon idiotic ears. As they cut into my flesh over and over, I would fade in and out of consciousness and whisper to the ceiling chairs that it was going to be okay. Clark was afraid at first. His four legs trembled against the cold ceiling. Okay, so they are but chairs. Had to be strong for me. They're just then chairs. I went to work on his brother, Philippe. Bro. They. <laughs> They started effing up the ceiling chair. I, uh, why did they care? Philippe. I, I just. Philippe was so brave. He was so brave for me when the rotary saws began to ply his legs from his body. Their chairs. Clark cried out for his brother, even when one of the torturers inadvertently sat on him and muffled his cries. The last thing Philippe said before he passed on to the great wooden beyond was. I love you, Patty. I love you. And then he was gone. That's so sad, but also it's a chair. It's lonely here in Sanctuary. Sure, Clork prattles around on the ceiling, but it's hardly the same. Jack has taken so much from me. Wait. Jack has taken the only happiness I've ever had in his asinine quest for the warrior and more power. Revenge is as pointless as music, but on this occasion, I will allow myself the revenge. I will allow myself to aid in his downfall. Mark my words, Jack. You're going to die. Wait, Clark's still alive? What? Where? Where is... Where is Clark? You know, I don't. I don't. Okay. Ah, the 
chronicles of my torture. <laughs> I shall warm up some cold cocoa and listen to these again. Cold cocoa? Why? Why are you like this, Tex? You, you exist to be a problem. That, that is your character identity. You're a problem that I can't fix. Uh, dude, what do I have a worse with God? Take two of my guns. I'll be on my Also, I'll sell my Oh look, a vault hunter. Alright, it doesn't seem like we have any side quests left here. Let me check just to be sure. No. We don't really want to go back to uh, Oasis either. Once we hit 50 and we're about to do DLC and new VHM, which I have decided more or less that I want to do. Because apparently Lilith made it where you can play UVHM without playing OP levels. So I'll try that. Or something. I don't know. I say or something, but I'll, I'll probably do that. Okay, so the only thing we have is Exploitation Preserve and Sphinx Slaughter. We're gonna do Finks now, cause we're more than high enough level to clear it. Shouldn't even be hard for us, cause we have a uh, Death Trap, who is very good at dealing with this. Usually. I don't know if we lost last time, or I just decided I wanted to do something else. It's unclear. Um, it's been. A while. Well, I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe it hasn't been a while? I, I'm pretty sure. This, uh... Holiday has been a bit chaotic for me, as I'm sure it has been for most. Down the trap. I somehow died and rezzed myself at the same time. Not gonna be too upset about it. Oh, also, I'm going to make absolutely no effort to do the bonus objectives. I'm sure no one minds, because uh, anyone who's played this game can tell you that they are a waste of your time. Well, okay, it's not a waste of your time all the time, but... You know. Hi. Um, someone on me? No. Crap, are you like corroding or something? Why are you in pain? Oh yeah, you're corroding. Well, I'm not safe here. Is that a grenade? Fortunately, yes. Yeah, we have to play a little defensive considering our current setup.
It might benefit us to spec out of gorillas once we can use the five points to get to the bottom of the anarchy tree. Um, not that this like matters that much. But so we can pick up some healing for you, VHM. And you know, it, it it's a while off, but I don't know. I like the plan. <laughs> uh, where are you at, boys? Anyways, I was going to do like a uh, Xenoblade X playthrough, like a long, 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 long time ago. So I like downloaded a CMU and I downloaded like the 60 FPS mod for Xenoblade X and like uh, a mod that like unpacks textures and stuff. And it looks good and it runs well. It's just like I never got around to it. And it seems like it will still be a long time before I do get around to it. So it's like I don't want to uninstall it. Uh, such a pain to do in the first place to get it working and then, like to get it working again not to mention finding like uh finding roms is a huge pain in the ass people keep trying to crack down on pirating i mean it is Like, obviously, in some situations, I support it, like, if you're trying to play, like, the original, like, Trials of Mana, or, like, the SNES, and you're running an SNES emulator, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Especially if you've bought it before, like, when you were a kid, and you're just using... an emulator now, because maybe you uh, sold your SNES or it doesn't work anymore or something, you know? It's like you bought the game already, like... So, you know, I, I feel no sadness about this, because I, I put like 700 hours in Xenoblade X on my Wii U. And going, oh man, I'd love to play this with a 60 FPS mod, I don't think there's any. Sorry if that's a controversial take, but I don't think it is. Let's go. We're going back. And yeah, it's um. I don't know. It's a shame that it it's so like difficult and annoying. These days. Actually, something that's surprising. Is that, um... Old, uh... Like, retro games, like SNES, NES, uh... Kinda era games... Are not very difficult at all to pirate on a map. Like... For all of the, uh, Apple bad sentiment... Playing retro games is actually, in my experience, significantly easier to do on Max. So, something you want to do. For it. it used to be really easy to do on like a jailbroken uh, iPhone as well, but they've cracked down on any iPhone customization whatsoever. I mean, you can still get, like, a GBA, uh, NDS emulator on, um, Android as well, but it, it doesn't work as well as it used to work on iPhones, but now it doesn't work on iPhones at all, so. And this is coming from someone who prefers Androids, uh, to make that clear. I'm just... I don't- I don't know what it is. 
about Apple, or maybe it's, it has nothing to do with Apple and it has more to do with Apple developers, but they just make emulation run more smooth. Um, alright. More reloads. I will have some more anarchy, thank you. I will have some more anarchy, thank you. But yeah, I mean, adversely, I think that if you're like pirating Elden Ring right now, like on your PC, that uh, is probably. I wouldn't recommend it. I'm not even gonna say, like, the cases in which people like pirating Elden Ring, right, are the reason for all of these, like, huge anti-emulation pushes. No, I mean, it has nothing to do with that. I think we can all just agree and accept that it's just corporate greed. You know? Nintendo doesn't want to... Someone to emulate Super Mario Brothers 2 when they can uh, buy like a NES Mini on eBay for five hundred dollars. Play it that way, you know. Which is. Hilariously overpriced for what it is. But it is still like a neat item to own, so I don't blame anyone who bought like those. to get like a legendary roboteer or something once we hit 50. I don't know how well that's gonna go because um I have class farm class mod farm in Borderlands 2 before and boy is it miserable. That is one thing I do appreciate about BL3's busted ass drop rates. That at least it's possible. Also, you know what? For all the shit that I would give it, at least they patch dedicated drops into the game when they launch. Although, you know what's absurd to me is that after all the outcry about no dedicated drops in Borderlands 3, and then them adding dedicated drops to Borderlands 3, and then the fans universally thinking it was a good change, and I would say the whole, like, opinion of Borderlands 3 went from this is a shit game to this is a pretty good game with a shit story. You know, I think that whole, like, shift in viewpoint happened when they started adding dedicated drops. So, for them to release Tiny Tina's Wonderlands and for it to not have dedicated drops in it is completely like I, I I cannot understand it in in any regard oh also not to like plug myself too hard here but um well I mean I, I'm on my own channel right? like I shouldn't have to plug myself on my own channel. Uh -huh. What's wrong with me for being ashamed of that? 
But anyway, it's more, um... I think my next playthrough after this... Like I said, if there's enough, um... Like, if anyone speaks up and is like, Oh yeah, I really want you to play BL1 or TPS or BL3 after this, I'll do it in tandem with my next project, but I do really want to play Dark Souls 1. Um... I have a Dark Souls 3 playthrough up on my channel. Um, it's pretty good, I would say. Um, it's fairly in-depth. I do everything in it. Um, we, I don't want to say we cheese the game, because we didn't really cheese the game, right? We played the game how... You know, you're supposed to play it, but it, uh... <laughs> I definitely made it look easy. Uh, I'll just leave it at that. Well, except for Medir. Uh, Medir kind of took my build and tossed it into a dumpster. If you don't know who Medir is, though, you could watch DS3. It's, it's a good let's play. Um... In any case, yeah. Uh, Dark Souls 1. I, I really want to do like a mega, mega in-depth Dark Souls 1 playthrough. It might be slightly jank. Uh, no, no, no! Death Trap. Res me like, like Flax Monkey. Alright, well, Rip Anarchy. Rip Anarchy. <laughs> it is what it is sometimes when you're playing Gage. Like Alright, last round. I have an arcade this time, but. It's not that. Um, yeah, I, I think it could be really good. Um... I really want to stream Dragonflight. I know everyone's streaming Dragonflight right now. That's like... I... I think I... GPU is not in a place right now where it can handle me streaming too much. I'll try it. Might not be Dragonflight, but I'll definitely try streaming for a bit. And I really want to play like Awakening. There's like a Fire Emblem Awakening raw mech. Okay. We're not talking about that right now. Uh we're talking about Borderlands 2. Kind of. Well, there's not much to talk about, right? Uh, the arenas are a good time for me to talk about other things, like my boss, the channel, and the project. Like, one might reasonably say, like, oh, why are, why are you a variety channel? Like, you don't even have, like, a big audience. You need to find your niche, you know, before you can start spreading out so that people can find you and... All of the, the reasonable advice that anyone could give for a new channel starting out. My channel's not even new, I've been doing this for years, but... It might seem new based off of my numbers. That's because I have never done anything the correct way. But yes, I, I insist on being variety channel because I think unlike a lot of gamers, I was never stuck on a game, except for like League of Legends, I guess, but uh, that game will not occupy another square centimeter of my mind. Uh, I might do a League of Legends stream one day if there is enough support for it, but like...
I uh, hate that game. And want nothing to do with it. I literally spent my first, like, three years of playing the League, probably, on old Twisted Tree Line. If you know what League is, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I didn't play any Summoner's Rift because I thought the game mode was bad. I only played Twisted Tree Line. And then they reworked Twisted Tree Line. And I thought Twisted Tree, the new Twisted Tree Line rework was really bad and like really boring. And really, it was just, it was worse. It was a worse map, I'm sorry. The original Twisted Tree Line was a better designed map. Um, no one at Riot will ever admit this, but it's true. And the reason the new Twisted Tree Line failed is because their new map was bad. And they were too proud to admit that it was the case. Uh, consider that a conspiracy theory, but it, I think it's true. In any case, when they reworked the map for Treeline and made it bad, they released a game mode called Dominion. And oh boy, did I love Dominion. I started playing Dominion all the time. Dominion was so much fun. Um, once again, it was me just like, the core gameplay of League of Legends is fun. But I just don't think Summoner's Rift is fun, you know? It's... It holds you in a game for like an hour at a time against your will. Where you have to go into one lane you don't want to go in. And farm minions for 20 minutes. Like, it's so bad. I can't understand how anyone could like... Play Summoner's Rift and go, Mmm, yes, last hitting minions is engaging gameplay. Like, fuck that. And then people could say, oh, then be a support player. Just like, yeah, you know who else is a support player? Every single one of my friends who came up with the same idea that uh, Summoner's Rift is boring as fuck. So we're all gonna be support players. Except for the ones that uh, also like me, were like, well, uh, maybe I'll just play jungler because everyone else is playing support. Death trap. Can you kill something for me? Yeah, just go, go kill some. No. Okay. All right, you know what? For your sake, I'll edit out the first couple of, uh, first couple of waves here. I'll just try to remember that I was talking about League of Legends. Okay, we're back. I am not having an easy time of it. This is not been a, a very easy um, arena for me at all. Anyway, yeah, League of Legends. Um, yeah, uh, Dominion was fun. It was a great time. I loved it, uh, and then I shut it down. And then I was like, okay, I guess I'll play the shitty Twisted Tree line that I don't even like. And then I just played that, and then they removed it, and I was like, alright. And then, uh, I proceeded to play League during the worst years uh, ever, and had no fun, and, uh, had a miserable time and one might wonder why, why did you do that and like why did you play all the summer's rift if you didn't even like the game it's shit and anyone who can play league can attest uh to why i did it and wouldn't I ask in the first place because i'd be like oh yeah you know understand league of legends but uh, i don't want to i don't want to Man, I am not safe. Thank goodness for sandbags and stuff. Like, jeez.
Oh, did anyone here see uh, Killer Six's video on who he thinks the best and worst Volt Hunters are? I mean, I can't say I totally disagree with him. You know, I'm gonna be mixing the points. Where you going? Uh, one thing I thought was funny was he was, uh, shitting on Gravity Snare. Uh, Gravity Snare... Black. And, uh, I, I... I take some minor offense to that. Gravity Snare is a good ability. Sure, it's not the best, like, raid boss killer ability that there is. Or at the very least, it's not the easiest. But it, it is good. Say that it isn't, like, a very good ability, I think, is, is unfair. I, I think it's great. I did eventually start playing Fadeaway Flak just because I wanted to actually play the game. And uh, the damage of Loaderbot Flak is only so high. And when you're playing um like super end game raid boss like level, it's a little difficult. But um. Man, oh man. That's a good grenade, by the way. Just in case anyone knew, or didn't know, uh, fireworks grenade? Very good. Guy. The worst thing ever would be like, oh well, we're on wave four and we're gonna get. Fuck. He's not letting me through. No! 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 <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'm gonna do this off-screen. Uh, this might be a shorter episode, but, uh, I'm sure y'all understand. Yeah. Yeah. Have a nice day. See ya.